Bruce, you were amazing on the beam. I didn't know you could sing like that. Certainly didn't get that from me. <laughs> I want to give you something special for your bar mitzvah. Grandpa, I thought you said you were going to give me something special. This is just some old book. It's been in our family for generations. And take it and save it for your children and their children to have this book. If you say so. Bruce, why don't you thank your grandfather? It will take time, but he will understand it just like I did years ago. They sent me to Vietnam in 1963. I was only 23 years old. I was put in my oldest cousin platoon. He was a great leader and I loved him very much. One day, my cousin and I ventured into the jungle when all of a sudden, I ran back as best as I could. And when I got to the camp, my cousin was nowhere in sight. I looked everywhere behind trees and bushes and behind small hills and nowhere to be found. When I found him, it was too late to save his life. As he was laying there dying, he asked me to get into his bag and take out a book that meant everything to our family. I could have never imagined the significance of this book. My grandfather, Sam Bieber, received this book as a gift from his synagogue. Now, as you can see, you must always listen and respect your mothers and fathers. Now that I am done with my sermon, I would like to recognize one of my great friends, Mr. Samuel Bieber. Over right here in Omaha in 1924, he created the first Aleph Zadik Aleph chapter, Mother AZA. This Jewish organization, I have a feeling, will grow in years to come. In this generation, Jewish people are not well represented. There are famous baseball players, there are famous rabbis, but I feel like us Jews can do more. And Mr. Bieber has done so much already to help make the Jewish future. I now am going to donate this book one that has been passed down from generation to generation for who knows how long to Mother AZA so that it may be passed down for more generations to come. Here you go, Sammy. Thank you. How far does this book go back? It looks really old. I wonder how old. What are you doing? I'm writing a book. You realize it'll probably just get ruined in our journey through the desert. We've been in the desert for 38 years. Just let me write my book. Can I see it? No, it's not done yet. Wait, have you seen Moses? He's been gone for a long time. No. Look! God has bestowed upon me what looks to be rules. Oh, let me put them in my book. These look like some type of rules. No. Let's call them commandments. God has told me that these commandments will stand for thousands of years. Uh, I don't think they'll hold up. Generations later, I still feel that we will follow what God has bestowed upon us. So what did you learn in Hebrew school today? I learned the Ten Commandments. Grandfather taught me the Ten Commandments. Oh, really? I want to give you something very special. This is a book that has been passed down from generation to generation in our family. And I think now it's time that we give it to you. Thank you so much. It took me years to learn how significant this book really was. And now that you have it, I think that you'll really learn to appreciate how significant it is for you. Thanks, Dad. I love you, son. Love you. People try to put us to death. Talking about my generation. Just because we get around. Talking about my generation.